some changes. Hey, welcome to my channel guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And the question I get asked the most, probably 20 or 30 times a week, if not more, is Casey, where can I buy pallets? How do I buy wholesale, liquidation, boxes, bulk inventory, whatever it is. And I've done webinars about this. Part of my 2020 package includes all the places I buy from. Um, I do buy from some websites like bstock.com, the one I'm gonna show you today. But as I've always told you, you can get to see the manifest, but you're bidding against other people. So these prices can get pretty high and you have to be very careful. You have to read the manifest, compare it to what you're getting, compare it to the prices and make sure that there's meat on the bone for you. Because there are some times where it will go so high, I think it's a loss. And there's sometimes it goes for a price where I'm like, yeah, you can make some money on that. So always be wary of that. I tend to do most of my sourcing other routes, which I talk about in my webinars and in the 2020, but this is a consistent flow of inventory. You can keep checking back on B-Stock. Uh, it's just one of a thousand sites. Do your research, Google, use a credit card. Uh, B-Stock is legitimate, it's trustworthy, and uh, I wouldn't have a problem buying anything off of them as long as the manifest said that we could make money. So let's go over to the website on my computer. I'll show you how it works. I'll give you the little ins and outs of B-Stock. And if you have any experience with B-Stock, feel free to put it down below. Yes, there are positive reviews. Yes, there are negative reviews like any site. Um, but you just have to do your research and really look into it. So let's check it out and I'll show you guys how you can buy pallets through bstock.com, just one of thousands of companies that do it. All right, so here is bstock.com, just as easy as it sounds. At the top, just click buy. It's gonna bring you over. You will have to register. Um, you will need your sales tax certificate. There's no license. Remember guys, there's not really anything as a reseller's license, some people call it that. It's a tax resale certificate. It's a reseller's tax certificate from your state. That's what you'll need. Um, or if you have an EIN and you use that to get your tax certificate, whether you're a sole proprietor or an LLC or whatever, you can do that. Okay, so when you click on it, they work with biggest companies in the country. They have their own supplies here. Uh, here's disposable three-ply non-medical face mask with ear loops, 50,000 units. Um, original retail is $150,000, $3. So you can click on that just to give you an idea of one of their um, lots. And so uh, it's currently at $5,580. Uh, you'd have to bid 5608. There's a buyer's premium, again, 10%, and then plus the shipping. So this one is gonna end up costing seven, $8,000 or more. Um, it doesn't actually end for a day and 58 minutes. Now, if you wanted to see uh, the rest of it, you just click login. And uh, I'll go ahead and log in here. And so then I can see the rest of it. The shipping cost is $700. Um, and that's uh, pretty, pretty steep, but I mean, that is what it is. So uh, that's just one of them. Now you can see they have all kinds of stuff from all the different companies. They have Walmart, they have uh, Target, they have Lowe's, they have Best Buy. And so you can come up here and uh, you can click on category. Let's say that you're after, um, let's say that you're after apparel. Let's just do clothing, right? And now we're gonna come down here. We have assorted fashion clothing store closeout, 30,000 units, new condition. Uh, estimated original retail is nine, almost $900,000 from Fresh Meadows, New York. Let's go ahead and open this one up because it's huge. This is uh, actual B stock supply, which means it's probably from, um, you know, not one of the major retailers. It's probably from like a third party. Okay, so we have 19 hours and five minutes left. The current bid is $10,525, it's 35 cents a unit. Uh, buyer arranges shipping. There's a buyer's premium, of course, of $1,052. And the shipping estimate from New York to here is $1,570. That's just my address blacked out. So that's $2,500 on top of the $10,500 puts us at $13,000 for this deal. Well, 30,000 units at 50 cents a piece would be $15,000. So this is about 45 cents a unit right now. They're charging 35 cents a unit, but then we have the shipping and buyer's premium. So let's go ahead, and it says they're all in new condition, which is pretty crazy. So let's go scroll down here. Now they have some other pictures, but you can't see what is in there, which is pretty crazy. It's from New York. You're not allowed to see what the clothing is. <clears throat> and this says, this fashion 
clothing store lot contains more than 30,000 units of ready to shelf items. The majority of the pieces are fashion dresses, blouse, bottoms, belts, more. Each piece is still in original packaging. Um, so then we scroll down. It's a freight type truckload. Piece count 12, estimated weight 12,000 pounds. So looks like it is 12 pallets of 1,000 pounds each, 48, 48, 48s. And that is pretty much all that they give you. There is no manifest except for it to say 30,000 pieces. Now, this is something that scares me. And the reason that it scares me is because you cannot see what you are getting. There's not going to be any brands in here if I had to guess. 30,000 pieces of clothing is 30,000 pieces of clothing. If you end up paying, you know, right now we know we're at 45 cents. This bidding doesn't end until tomorrow afternoon. Let's say it got up to a dollar a piece, right? Let's say that it was $30,000 total with everything, a dollar a piece. There'd probably be some cute dresses. I mean, brand new clothes for a dollar a piece, 30,000 units, it's a lot. But what are you getting? What can you sell? How much? So, it's something I'm going to keep an eye on, but this is really, really tough because we have 724 views, 18 people watching it. They put in 22 bids between three bidders. So we're up against a little bit of uh, competition. But anyways, that's how one of them will work. Let's go ahead and close this one out. And let's continue down where we can see some more stuff. So we have Nordstrom Rack. This is one pallet of Nordstrom Rack uh, apparel. And accessories, Canada Goose Carrera More, 1,254 units, estimated retail value of $41,000. The current bid is three grand. Um, so we're probably in the $2, what, $2.50, $3.50 one, uh, $2.41 plus the shipping is $456, plus we have a $3,000 um Buyer premium, so another seven. It's about $3,800 if I bought it at this bid, but the bidding doesn't close for another 22 hours. So it closes tomorrow afternoon. Um, you know, talking about being at $3,700, $3,800, you're up around three bucks a piece all in. So if we scroll down, the manifest down here at the bottom uh, tells you the brand. Some of this is unassigned, so you have no idea what it is. It tells you the quantity. Look. 31 items unassigned, retail value 35 bucks, no UPC. So we have no idea what some of this stuff is. There's Tory Burch, Kenneth J. Lane for Tory Burch, Crystal Pearl Earring, one. Says it's $198 retail price. We have no idea. So we scroll down here again. It says one pallet, sizes are unavailable, image displays are of stock image. Uh, outlet condition, once worn outlet condition, a small percentage may show signs of heavier use and may contain stains, stretches, tears, or scuffs. A percentage of items will still have the security tag intact. And if you read the first one, it must be delabeled to resell. Percentage of items um, have security tags uh, intact. So this is kind of a, you know, Mark Jacobs. There's some high end stuff, but you're at $3, almost $3 a piece right now. Um, you know, it's really hard to say this will probably end up going for $4 a piece or four fifty dollars after everything. Uh, it's tough to, to buy stuff like this because you got a lot of stuff that's unassigned. We have no idea what it is. It only has a retail value of 35 bucks. If it shows up brand new, what's it worth? $15, $12. If it shows up with stain, some percentage of it. If you get rid of all the stain and damage stuff, now your cost per item that you can sell is going to go up from $4 to 5 or 6 it's really a tough, tough call to sell some of this stuff. So like I said, when you're shopping these sites, you really have to do your research. You really have to figure out what is worth money and what isn't. Um, there's multiple Nordstrom Rack pallets. There's one, there's two. Here's an Amazon one. Here's uh, Target. Here's Hanes, Nordstrom Rack. Uh, B-Stock has their own designer handbags. There's only eight of them, designer handbags. But you guys can see, so feel free to roll through this stuff, uh, check it all out, do your research, do the manifest. If you buy something and you don't do good on it, please don't tell people that I told you to buy it or that I, I caused you to lose money. It's up to you to do your research. This is just one site out of a hundred, a thousand different wholesale sites. B-Stock is the most well-known, but you're bidding against other people. So be very, very careful. Set your highest price, figure out what the most you're willing to pay is and go from there. All right, I'll let you guys get back to it. Uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, as always, use the comments section below. And I have another way to source inventory. In fact, I have 12 other ways to source inventory that I use that are not thrift stores or 
B stock. Um, they're included in my webinar. They're part of the 2020 package. It's $20 and 20 cents. It's a one-time payment. It's below. You can link it. You can buy it. It'll automatically email to you and you will get hundreds of videos showing you how to sell on eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark, how to do your accounting, how to register your business, how to do affiliate sales. And part of those videos is how to source alternately outside of thrift stores and B stock and other places that you know about how to find material much cheaper at, you know, dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars a piece. Spending four and five dollars for me is a tough call. Okay. Thanks guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button with the notifications on so you don't miss any more of these educational videos and I'll have more coming out for you later. Good night, everyone.